Welcome back, everybody. We have a huge trade to announce. The Columbus Blue Jackets have acquired Ivan Provorov from the Philadelphia Flyers. The LA Kings were also involved. This was a big three-way trade, so we're going to break it down. If you're new here, then be sure to subscribe and to leave a like. So here is the full trade. The Columbus Blue Jackets will begin Ivan Provorov. Philadelphia acquires Cal Peterson and Sean Walker from L.A. They also get the Kings' 2024 second-round pick. They also get two draft picks from the Blue Jackets. They get a 2024 second-round pick, which could turn into a 2025 second-round pick, and they get the Blue Jackets' valuable 2023 first-round pick, which is at 22nd overall. L.A. only acquires Hayden Hodginson and Kevin Connaughton, two depth pieces, while they also retain 30% of Ivan Provorov's contract. Let's start with the Blue Jackets. This is a huge and an exciting ad, but it certainly comes with some risk. The thing that I look at immediately is, do the Blue Jackets have what it takes to contend next season? There is so much competition in the East. It is so competitive in that conference. Ivan Provorov has two years left on his contract. And if the Blue Jackets want to possibly win this trade, then I think they're going to have to find some playoff success while having him for possibly only two seasons. This is a big gamble, and it comes with a lot of pressure for the Blue Jackets. Let's just say that it is possible that the Blue Jackets could win no playoff series while having Provorov, and then he just walks away in free agency. The Blue Jackets would lose him for nothing, and while doing so, they would also burn away a valuable first-round pick for nothing. There's a lot to consider here, but adding in Provorov into that blue line on Columbus does sound pretty exciting. I mean, you have a possible top four that consists the likes of Zach Wierenski, David Juracek, Ivan Provorov, and Adam Boquist. That does sound pretty exciting. Now, just how impactful can Provorov be in Columbus? you got to look at the positive side of things and be optimistic. I mean, maybe Columbus does find a way to contend. Maybe they win some playoff series while having Provorov in the mix. Maybe he really likes it in Columbus and he signs a contract extension. Things could go that well. And then you look at the left side for their defensemen. You got Zach Wierenski. You have Ivan Provorov. And then you have some up-and-coming great prospects in Stanislav Spozil and Denton Matejchuk. So Columbus could be totally loaded here for a long time. This could work out really good for the Blue Jackets. I would say that for now, the Philadelphia Flyers seem to be the clear winners in this trade. This draft class is so stacked, I could for sure see them getting a player better than Provorov at 22nd overall. Sure, they take on Peterson's contract, but they can do that during a time while they're rebuilding. That 22nd overall pick has so much value. You also get two second round picks as well. That's awesome for the Flyers. This organization has been in a very dull state for a long time, but their new GM seems to understand what needs to be done. If they could have gotten second round picks from this upcoming 2023 draft class, then that would have really pushed this trade over the top for me. But still some great value for the Flyers to add those kinds of picks into their system. And then we have the LA Kings, which I would say they kind of look like the losers in this deal. Sure, they free up some salary cap space, but you just have to think that they could have done it some better way. There had to have been something, some other move, but this is what they go with, and it's a hefty price to pay. Provorov was actually drafted seventh overall in the 2015 class, and who was picked right after that? Zach Wierenski. So I think that's pretty cool that now those two are going to be teammates. Provorov obviously hasn't been as exciting lately. I mean, in that 2017-18 season where he put up 41 points, he looked like he was going to be a true star. Then in the 2019-20 season, he had 36 points and 69 games played. The past three seasons haven't been ideal, but at the same time, you consider the fact that the Flyers have been quite the mess for quite some time now. So Provorov switching to a new decor could be extremely beneficial for him.
Provorov also was the number one defenseman in Philadelphia. On Columbus, he's not going to be the number one guy. You know, he should be two or three, so I think that's going to help him out so very much. It's moves like this that sure do get you excited for the upcoming draft and off season, where there are going to be plenty of moves. In the comments section below, let me know, who do you think wins this trade? Do you think Provorov's going to be a great fit in Columbus? And do you think Philadelphia is going to get a great draft pick and select an awesome player with that 22nd overall draft pick? Let me know. If you like what you saw today, then be sure to subscribe and to hit that like button. I'm going to be covering all sorts of crazy trades and moves that take place this summer. And you're not going to want to miss out on it. So be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for tuning in today. And I'll see you all next time.